Hi there, welcome to the community show where we bring on these extraordinary people from the community that are working within the community, either doing something extraordinary or living their dream in some way. And today we have Amy Karen Waterston, who has come to tell us about her passion, about creating some kind of way of getting through to children with history, history lessons, but making it really fascinating and interesting so that they'll actually want to study. <laughs> so what do you want to tell us? About? Yeah, sure. It's basically just bringing sort of what children understand and what they know. For example, a school building, you know, it's something they relate to, they go to every single day and explaining the background to that building. So it's something they can relate to. So you're not just saying here's a building and there's history behind it because kids will be like, why am I learning about it? What's that got to do with me? So to have an actual, I know that building, I know that place, has the history behind it. And then it's connecting to, so for example, Victoria, and the Victorians, this is what was happening at this time when school was built. And then putting things that kids would understand. So for example, this particular chocolate bar was being designed at the same time as your school was being built. Oh, so nice. it's things that, you know, not just buildings, but like stuff that they will, or football. When was their favourite football team sort of created? And then what was going on in the area at the time? So they can got something to link it to, so it's real. So that kind of... Uh, yeah, kind of a thing. So it's really exciting. Yeah. It's really interesting. Mm. It's really different. <laughs> I like what you said about the chocolate bar. I mean, mm. obviously, as soon as you say that to a child, yeah, then they're going yeah. to click in. Mm, yeah. But I would never have thought of that. So <laughs> your mind is very creative. Yeah. So well, where did you come up with these ideas? Well, I actually did. I worked at a library for five years, and I worked with. It's a children's book club called Chatterbooks, and I same kind of thing. Um, obviously, all to do with books, but I wanted to make it interesting for children because with an adult you can sit there and say right we're going to read this book and a parent an adult will do it because you know they've got the ability to look at the world mm -hmm. children i think a bit more you know they like having what you know it's good for them to explore things but i think in a way they've got to make their own decisions as to what they like and making them or forcing them to read something it's too much like school so I started saying, okay, well, what can I put in a book club that's to do with books, but isn't actually reading the same book? And I thought, okay, well, things like, I don't know, cookery books. So we made food. I made little truffles with them. Um, craft books. I made craft with them. Um, we looked at audio books. So I got an dictaphone. I bought a little, little history book in and some sound effects on a CD. I got them to each choose a sound effect to do with their chapter, and I went around and recorded them with the dictaphone, and they made their own audiobook. Um, bits of things like texting, you know, or emails, or I did um, Halloween, I did epitaphs, and that was quite fun, and we made like potion bottles, and so it's things that involve mm. reading and writing, but aren't just sitting there mm. reading a, you know, a chapter from a book. Um, so why history in particular? I love it. You love it's history. just I love it. It's a passion of mine. That's it's something it. that yeah. I relate to. You can see. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. So if I was talking about maths, it wouldn't be quite as much fun because I don't like maths. But history, <laughs> I, I kind of, I think the thing with history I feel is so important is that everything's made up of history. Mm. Like even go back to chocolate bar. Chocolate has history, and you wouldn't think about it. Chocolate, chocolate bar. History. Well, it does. I mean, <laughs> think about where it came from, how it's used, and um, you know the different stages it went through to become what we know as chocolate mm. now it interlinks with the rest of the world at the same time this chocolate bar was being you know chocolate was advancing what was happening with the rest of the world and yes. it's just quite an interesting so so yeah clever. everything links really in together and i think it's like a massive story yeah you know it's literally and it's got the science fiction and crime and you can take any genre and that's history and so what's your cool. favorite part of history then? classical studies classical. i love classical studies i think they were just so advanced so long ago and i think it's just uh an amazing thing they could do that and you know i mean it took us like the things that greeks could do and the romans could do centuries I mean, obviously we have things like stonehenge and so to a point you know we were incredibly advanced but i quite like the sort of the the greeks and especially the, the greeks gods. the romans and the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like it's that. just fascinating fascinating the so. the only funny thing i ever saw about history was horrible histories i love it horrible was absolutely histories. hilarious they had it at the swan theater mm. which is you know our local theater yeah and it was absolutely brilliant. Mm. It, it took you all through history. Yeah. So in a way, 
you're thinking on those mm. lines, yeah. but in yeah. a more, it's, yeah. it's more yeah. pre- a different yeah. way. Different way. So rather than looking one. out sort of like the icky bits of history, which is amazing, I love them, <laughs> but look sort of taking things <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> the good bits, <laughs> um, but taking things that perhaps, you know, or like from a football club, you know, what's the history of their football club and what's happening within the world at the time. So rather than taking out the icky bits of the football club, which there probably are lots of things, um, looking at sort of within the overall structure of, what's going on at the time and mm. history and so um so how would you start something like this amy what what would what would you need to do in order to create something where you could take it to the kids in mm. the way that you would want to what what would you how would you do it yeah i think i'll start with things that are universally accessible to children um so for example i said maybe a chocolate bar or a favorite sweet or i don't know a, a, perhaps a, a doll or a football team or something which they can say, oh, yes, I eat that or I watch that or I wear that or I play with that or... Um, and then bring in the history to it and then you know, okay. try and kind of do it that way and hopefully more and more kids will end up mm. becoming interested. But start with the book club, you know, advertise it to about five or six kids and then some began their friends and then someone sure. else from school came along and yeah. someone saw it happening and said, oh, that looks good fun, I'll go. And so mm. it came to, you know, it kind of doubled within six months just from people knowing people and seeing what was going mm. on and wanting, oh, that looks interesting, I'll go and join in. <laughs> um, well, you see, the thing about moving on TV is we want to try and offer you mm. and everyone the opportunity to do something with us. Mm. So how do you see that happening? Um, I'd love just to make them. I think it would be quite fun to take a handful of children and almost get them to explore it. Because I think the thing, you know, hands-on history with children, and then hopefully that will appeal to other children. Um, mm-hmm. When I see it's not just a sort of boring adult sitting in a chair talking. <laughs> so, you, so you basically would film yourself with a group mm, of kids, yeah, and yeah. with a part of yeah. history, yeah, and then, and then, you then, come, and then discovering you come it, and yeah, sounds very yeah, interesting. Yeah. Sounds very but exciting. It's like the children yeah. open air museum. It's something you know, kids go along and they can walk around all the historical houses, mm-hmm. and I think it's just something that's. It's hands on, it's there, it's accessible rather than reading in a boring history book, which I love doing, but lots of kids don't. (laughs) Well, yeah, no, as you say, it's a very different way, exciting Mm. way to to get history across to kids and to get them. I mean, one thing I, we were talking about this when we first met and I was saying that, yeah, history is very important in the way that you do need to know mm. what what we've been through. I mean, I, I believe that you've got to let it go mm. and use it in a more neutral way. Yeah. So we, you know, we learn a lot about all the everybody's histories and we all come together and move on, basically. Because mm. yeah. a lot of people hold on to history. How do you yeah. feel about that? I mean, some people actually hold on to what happened to them, like countries, as we know, mm. will hold on to the pain and the history of it all, and they can't move on. Mm. And then you you have yeah. wars and you have problems. Yeah. How do you feel I think about it's all that? learning from the past, and mm. hopefully the mistakes that our ancestors made. Fingers crossed, we won't make ourselves. Um, so I think just to learn about, you know, obviously there's going to be a certain point, you know, that things. You know, for example, things are never going to happen again. So, for example, the ancient walls with arrows and cannons. This is not going to happen because we've moved on. (laughs) Um, Fingers crossed. (laughs) Um, But this is like like concentration camps. Hopefully we have learned from that and it will never happen again. So I think it is very important to learn about these things. Have some in modern history. I have to admit, I don't like learning about it. I think it's too close. You know, for example, my grandmother was alive in World War Two, and she's got her own stories and it's kind of very very close I prefer the things where you can look back and you're a bit more sort of like you were saying not kind of let go but a bit more one step back from it so yeah. you can judge it in a neutral way it's easier to um, romanticize it you mean like the programs like they put on tv they've got Atlantis and stuff like that yeah. because you can watch it mm, yeah, from as yeah, you say yeah. from a distance yeah. and create your own story mm. around it because you're not too close not to too it close. I mean for example mm. you know kind of the, the ancients Greeks and Persian were always at war with each other and um but you know 2,000 years later you can take a step back from that and start learning at it as the subject so this is this side and this is that side and these are the conflicts and this is how it was resolved and this is the wars and that but you're that one step back from mm-hmm. it um so you're not kind of up great you know, well it's absolutely back. fascinating <laughs> i love i love your passion and i love your ideas um so thank you very much Amy. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you, thank you thank you thank you thank you for coming thank in you. No, thank, thank you for you having so me you're welcome. <laughs> thank you so that was 
the amazing Amy, <laughs> Amy Karen Waterston with her beautiful, beautiful ideas. And if you're interested in what we've been talking about, you can contact us. We'd be really interested in yeah, your views yeah, and what you yeah, think. Yeah. And if you want to come on board and work with us, you know, if, if your kids, if you're interested, if your kids getting involved at your school or library group or anything, you can contact me at Moving On TV or you can email me Lauren, L A U R E N, at movingontheatre.co.uk and you can call us on 07437 532 798. You can text or leave a message, but we'll always get back to you. So have a beautiful day and keep moving along with Moving On TV. Thank you.